I've been thinking, what's the best way to get rich and famous? To have hordes of adoring fans, to get your own television show and bank tons of hot moms, all while looking goofy as fuck. What's the one job I can have all of those things and more? Being a psychic. I'm heading out to Central Park to try to find my first recruits. Today, I become Ethan the Great, Ethan the Majestic. Join me as I become a spiritual leader. Hey, how you guys doing? You want a free uh, psychic reading? Um, let's say I'm about to come back. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I predict that not to be true. <laughs> want a uh, free psychic reading? No, no I appreciate it's it. Free. Thank you. I'm the real deal, folks. You want a free second read? Oh, no, thank you. It's free. Hey, it's all good. Ooh. You guys want a free psychic reading? Okay, thanks. But it's free. It seemed that nobody was interested in getting a free psychic reading. I was having trouble gathering new disciples. If I'm going to make it as a psychic, I need to be more aggressive. Are you guys interested in a free psychic reading, maybe? Sure. Yeah, okay, great. Do you have a, a woman in your life, maybe starts with a D? Donna, Donna, Dina, 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 Donna, uh, Diana, Diana, a D, a D, a P, a W, a T, a S? Does any of that strike a bell, ring a bell for you? Woman in your name, a woman in your life? S, yeah. S? Yeah. What's her name? Charlene. Charlene. That's what I was sensing. I was sensing a Charlene in your okay, life. Who are you? Uh, Charlene, it's your mother. It's your not your mother. It's no, on your mother's side. It's related to your mother. It's no, on your mother's side. She's not related at all. How? Okay, dude. Um, how do you know her? She's a friend. A friend? Okay. Look, dude, you gotta help me out. Like, I'm sure this is like going out to like my fans and shit. So, okay. just say like Shirley, Shireen's your mom. Okay. Okay, so, so anyway, like Shirlene, how is she related to you? My mom. Good. Fuck, dude, I knew it. Okay, I'm on today. Today, okay, so your mom. Uh, now I'm sensing something like a ghost, a presence, a cold presence, because your mom, has your mom lost somebody? Has someone your mom, has someone your mom known ever died? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, so, that person's saying hi. Oh, hi. She's with you hi. now, and she wanted me to tell you that she says hi. Oh, tell her I said hi back. Are you being sarcastic or is that? Or? No, like I, I want her to know I'm saying hi. Okay. Yeah, I told her. So that was it. Was that cool? Was that pretty impressive? No, not really. So I, I accept donations also. Do you want the rest of my monster? I mean, it's almost gone. Yeah, actually, that'd be cool, man. Thanks. That actually really goes... <laughs> that weirdly goes good with my... Thank you, dude. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Pound it, dog. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you, dude. That was really thoughtful. <laughs> dude, what a psych what a beautiful mystical day like. What are the chances that this guy would have a, a monster that matches my outfit? I mean that is just insane, guys. The energies are real, they're flowing. This is extreme street psychic magic. I'm Ethan the Great, the Majestic. Guys, if you ever doubted psychic magic was real, check me out. Here at Central Park. Wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up, proud of you. I have always been fascinated by psychics and gurus, but not because I'm interested in mysticism or magic or anything like that. I just happen to find these people so interesting. They are the goofiest looking people that have ever walked this earth. Somehow they all came together and said, hey, you know what? Let's put a carpet on my head. Let's look like I belong in Ghostbusters 5. And guess what? I'm the ghost. Let's look like Fabio got his knees chopped off and ate a couple too many cheeseburgers. That's the look we're going for. That's what attracts people to us and builds cults. That's what mysticism is all about. So without further ado, guys, let me enter the world with you. 
of gurus, psychics, and mediums. I'm Gary Spivey and I entertain people. The first and one of my favorites is Gary Spivey, the literal rotting orange. I mean, this guy's tan is so slick, it looks like he's about to go start a 90s boy band. The reason I turned my psychic abilities into entertainment was simply because it works. Oh yeah, and did I mention that he wears a literal poodle's asshole on his head? This helmet looks like it was knit from his grandmother's pubic hairs. And people still take him seriously. This guy has followers. People pay to go watch this guy give psychic readings. Other times people come to me and they have chronic depression. I can get rid of it about as quick as I do this. There's something very special about being a psychic and looking as goofy as possible. And nobody personifies that better than the human golf ball, Gary Spivey. Here's what I say to the naysayers that don't believe a thing about what I do. Hey, I hope I entertained you. Oh, you've definitely entertained us. Thank you, Gary, you giant human Q-tip. Who had the issue with the brain? Aneurysm, brain tumor, Alzheimer, or dementia? Who's that? Next up is the Long Island medium, who looks like she's from a Sopranos parody. No, who died with the brain, the issue with the brain? Because I might be piggybacking. Somebody might have the same meaning. She does this typical cold reader thing where she'll ask a million questions to a room of 500 people, and everyone gets cried in shock when she finally figures out that this one lady, Uncle Bob, had an aneurysm 20 years ago. Sit with mom, you would feel the presence of other loved ones that have departed. Is that correct? The fact that this woman is given any screen time at all, and even has her own show, is nothing short of a national tragedy. I mean, it's cool that you can speak to the dead and all, but frankly, I'm more impressed and scared, to be honest, of that fucking hairdo. Is that her wedding ring? Uh, no, it's my mother's wedding. Oh, it's your mother. Oh, because I heard some uh, the wedding ring. Too. Does the Humane Society know that you have a rodent living on your head? But next up is by far my favorite spiritual being, known only as Brazzo. 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 Brazzo is a spiritual leader known for having the gaze of miracles. What that means is that he literally stares at people and heals them. The gaze of miracles. Brazzo! He even does this thing called healing sessions over Skype where people pay to stand in a room and watch him over Skype. The gaze of miracles, guys. It's even dubbed a new genre of comedy for me. I call this ready-made comedy. I literally don't need to say anything. Just watch this. Stare upon him and feel his energy flow. It is truly one of the most confusing things I've ever seen. And that brings us to our featured video today on CNN, by the way, uh, hard hitting news once again. Shout out to uh, the meme theme disser report. This is a nice callback to that. So then you put it on, what made you say, I'm putting this on Twitter. What do you do on Twitter? What do you kids do on Twitter? This video took place on CNN. This was broadcast into people's homes. I cannot stress that enough. Look at the title. Hypnosis, real or whack? Is it real or whack? Let's find out now on CNN. Hard hitting memes. So we give everybody a better understanding of really what this is. It's not a quick snap of a finger. Uh, in the room, I worked with about 10 people. They were able to relax the fastest, the quickest, the most susceptible. Doesn't mean that the people cannot be hypnotized. But obviously, for the time that we had together, they were able to relax very quickly. I just am captivated by all their faces. They all have such a thing going on here. I mean, this guy, it, I don't know what he said. He did something to him backstage. I don't know if it was hypnosis or something else, but they definitely... This guy's got fucked up, dude. That guy's not been the same since backstage, I'll tell you that for sure. Just to let everybody know, we were about 20 minutes in a room working. This is not something I can do. I can walk up to you in the street and do that. Right, I right. wouldn't be here now. <laughs> I wouldn't be here now. I'd be doing weird, creepy shit to hot cuties on the street. Right, right. I wouldn't be here now. <laughs> I would be fucking a lot of people while they're unconscious. A lot. I'm gonna ask you just to focus on your breathing and just relax. And if I can, can I shake your hand? Mm -hmm. And Andy, three, two, one. 
Relax way down, deep, deeper, relax. Oh, that, you gotta love that. That's the sign of a real psyche right there. A little one of those, woohoo! Relax way down. Three, two, you know it's coming. Keep looking me in the eyes, but you can't fight it, can you, Michael? You know that, woohoo, it's coming. You ready? I'm a real fucking psychic, dude. I learned this shit in psychic school. Hi, Jennifer, how are you? Just focus on your breathing. Three, two, and sleep. Relax way down. What the fuck? That can't be real. Sleep. He's trying to present himself as a real professional hypnos hypnosis, and he's dropping a woohoo. It's like that's that's in comic books. You're, that's not what a professional does to his fucking clients. Oh, look at her face. She doesn't want to get mm, wooed. Fuck. Here it comes. Sleep. Relax. <laughs> How is this real? You talked to them over an hour ago. Yeah. An hour later, this happened so quick. Yeah, because they wanted it to happen. Okay. I can't challenge them, I can't force them. It's that, you know, the greatest hypnotist in the world is ourselves. What we say to ourselves, we create. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. Look, it's a simple stuff. It's just a couple of woohoos, a couple of shibbity dangs, a couple of hey, see you out back, and all of a sudden, what do you know? You got a meme on CNN, real or what? You decide. When their eyes are open, I'm gonna say a couple key words. Every time I say the word Atlanta, every time I say the word Atlanta, uh, Andy's phone is his shoe, and it's gonna start to ring live on the air. His phone is his shoe. Jennifer thinks that's the most ridiculous thing she's ever heard in her entire life. She cannot believe Andy's doing this here. But every time I snap my fingers, Jennifer will stop and try and get my attention. She just wants to stop the segment. She doesn't think this is funny. She thinks this is a waste of time. Uh, she's in control. What the fuck did you just describe, dude? What the fuck? How am I supposed to follow that, let alone these fucking, these people who are taking a snooze? Atlanta. Uh, Andy's phone is his shoe. Sleep. But every time I snap my fingers, he doesn't think this is funny. Sleep. Try and get my attention. His phone is his shoe. His phone is his shoe. Relax, way down. One, two, and three. Welcome back. How you doing? Good, good. Welcome back. How you feel? Feel well rested? How do you, I do. How do you feel? Feel. Happy. Hell yeah. Can you actually put me in a sleeping state where my I'm slashed over like someone who's about to fucking die from a heroin overdose? That's really good for my body. I felt so relaxed. Can you put me in this state again? I was so relaxed. Who are these poor people, by the way, who signed up for this? Uh, did he just find them on fucking Craigslist like the day before, dude? This guy is sitting there like, what the fuck did I get myself into? I have to pretend like my phone... And my shoe is my phone every time he says Atlantis. Just, I feel really relaxed right now. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, we'll get to some fun stuff in a minute. We were talking, and so I'm at the punchline tonight here in Atlanta, my hometown. Hey, Ricky, Ricky, I get to Ricky, actually experience. Ricky, yes, Ricky, yes, Ricky, hey. Yes. Yeah. Can I, I, Rich, with you. No, anyway, no, wait, wait, so wait, wait. Uh, if you've never had a chance to experience anything like this, I hope you come see me live. Uh, you can actually, uh, can we're, get, we're, we're, we're right in the middle. Of, I've not only here in Atlanta, but around the world. Ricky, uh, you can actually, Ricky, can uh, we're, get, we're, can we're right in the middle. What's going on? That's okay. You're good? My fault. Okay. So I'm here in Atlanta, but I perform oh, Ricky, around the world. I Ricky, speak about it and I talk about Ricky. it. And the cool thing is I, I not only love entertaining and teaching people how to do you okay? You're all right? Yeah. What the fuck is happening here, dude? Is this a comedy routine? Because the one guy sitting in the room looks confused, befuddled, and possibly afraid that he's about to get wooed. Atlanta. Uh, Andy's phone is his shoe. Sleep. But every time I snap my fingers try and get my attention. World, Ricky, uh, you can actually, Ricky, can uh, we're, get, can we're, we're, we're right him? in the middle. But we're, what's going, I think you, what, what's up? I'm just doing this. I, go doing? ahead. I'm just, I'm just doing this. It, hello. No, this is a shoe. No, woo, woo. No, this is a shoe. I can't hear you. I'm on a shoe right now. I, this isn't a real phone. And I'm feeling very relaxed. I'm feeling rejuvenated. I'm feeling relaxed. I'm happy that was broadcast on national television. Thank you so much, Michael Scott, the hypnotist for bringing me on national television and paying me five dollars to humiliate myself. I'm feeling very relaxed. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go meditate some more. Let's leave it like that. Hey, Andy. Yeah. Three, two, sleep. Relax, wait. Hi, Jennifer. Three. Dude, if I'm her, I'm running.
Get out, dude. You just saw it happen to your friend. You saw him collapse like a fucking corpse, man. It's coming for you. Three, two. Relax way back. Okay. What's with the snaps after they pass out? Way back. She dropped like a corpse and he gives her a couple of these just to way like... Back. You're mine now, bitch. When I shake their hand, they won't be able to speak to me in English. They won't be able to speak at all in English. They'll only speak a language that does not exist. Okay? When I let go of their hand, they'll speak fine. By the way, Andy, when I ask you what your name is, your name is now Ron Burgundy. He's, I feel like he's putting too much on their plate. You're Ron Burgundy. You speak a language that has not been existed, dude. A sound that has never been uttered in human language by anyone that's ever existed before. Maybe a little too much on their plate, dude. Also, he's Ron Burgundy. Okay, dude. Let's find out if Obnoxious is a whack or real. How you guys feeling? I'm feeling, I'm still pretty relaxed. Yeah. Andy, you know, thanks so much. Uh, by the way, um, how would you describe this to people listening and watching? How would you describe this? Uh, it's uh, um, really, <laughs> uh, it's uh, good. Okay. I literally understood every word he said. It's uh, really good. It's uh, really good. Not a language I've ever heard before. Here's a word maybe you've never heard before, Mr. Michael Scott, the hypnotist. Whack! This shit's whack! All right, anyway, hi, how are you? And uh, how do you spell your name for me? Jane. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name earlier. Uh, my name's Ron. Ron, nice to meet you, Ron. I, yeah. I didn't catch your last name. And I didn't catch your last name. Let me jog your memory here. What's your last name? Uh, uh, Burgundy. Well, great. And how would you ex describe this? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm yeah, whatever. Let's move on, dude. You're fucking this up for me, guy on Craigslist. I gave one day to prepare for this. You are fucking this shit up for me, dog. I had everything riding on this interview. Sorry, I didn't catch your name earlier. This is Ron. Have you guys met? Yeah. Great. What was your name? Try. Try. Jean. It's and you can remember, what's your name? <clears throat> John, John, Jennifer. That's pretty awesome. Isn't that cool? That's incredible. That's pretty awesome. Isn't that cool? Wasn't that so neat? <laughs> Wasn't that just so neat? That was just so cool, wasn't that? In hoops and hoops is just so cool. So you, you guys at home decide, was this real or was it whack? Jean. It's and you can remember, what's your name? <clears throat> Jennifer. That's pretty awesome. Ladies and gentlemen at home, Mr. CNN, meme theme dissert, people at home in the audience, I believe I laid my case clear and wide. <laughs> Is hypnosis real? <laughs> you decide. Yeah, and you're not sure what's going on, do you? Yeah. And three, two, sleep. Relax way down deeper. Hi. Three, two, relax <sighs> way down. All right, so just- He seems concerned. I mean, he really genuinely seems concerned. What is this? He's like, is this, this is the direction CNN wants me to take this, huh? So the key words that you used, yeah. what if I say those words in an hour? Let's Are they back there? Let's find out. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, it's not gonna work like that. <laughs> like, with us. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm a person. Anyway, right. no. Uh, <laughs> I'm a person. This man has damaged my brain. Sleep trying to get my attention. His phone is his shoe. His phone is his shoe. Relax, wait. I'm a person. Anyway, right. no. Uh... And now I'd like to thank audible.com for sponsoring and supporting our show. Audible, if you don't know, is the biggest provider of eBooks in the entire world. And you can get a free trial for one month by using our custom URL in the link below, audible.com forward slash h3h3 now that game of thrones has started up again i'd like to recommend one of my favorite series of all time obviously game of thrones and if you have watched this series but not read the book i can tell you as someone who started reading the book at season three that it is well worth it and i mean i started reading book one and i thought it was gonna be repetitive and a waste of time but it wasn't at all and once i started reading it i was genuinely engrossed and i did not stop reading until i was all the way caught up and the audiobook is like even better. If you guys pick up this book at audible.com forward slash h 3 you will not regret it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Audible for supporting our show. We appreciate you guys. We love you and we'll be most certainly seeing you next time. Bye bye. Wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up. Proud of you.
hitting hard with the me 